Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. You can see I'm a little burn here. Well, you know, I posted that short showing you, you know, me mowing some hay down, saying that pays for car parts. Well, let me just show you exactly what I go through to get these car parts, okay? Now, I know some of you are saying, well, just get a job. I have a job, a normal job like everybody else, and it pays all the bills and everything. But if you want to do anything extra, or buy any car parts well you got to do something extra to to uh, pay for those parts so i want to show you the battles and struggles that i go through including well unfortunately we actually have a fire you'll see what i'm talking about here in a little bit so so you ready come on let's get into it i'll say hi baby girl baby boy you want to say hi <laughs> yeah that's good enough Hopefully you can see it. Well, let's hook this thing up. These things ain't no fun to hook up. This thing ain't as bad as some of the older models. I've got one of the older models. To be honest. Well, the older models take Jesus and all his disciples to hook them up. That went better than I thought it would. Better than it normally does. Have I mentioned it's hot out here? It's like 93 right now. It's, it's been cloudy all day until I come out here. Now I was trying to get the call tank in. This is where another person would be handy. Now, this piece right here has to go under your left arm. This piece right here goes on top. And you tighten this nut down, clamp it together. This is actually what makes the cutter bar lift up off the ground. If you don't fasten this, can't lift the cutter bar up off the ground. You can lift the frame of the mower, but you can't lift the cutter bar up. Well, hallelujah sound the trumpets. I got it. If I mention it's hot out here, I look like this, and we ain't even got started yet. I got that crawling in my eye. 
All this just so an animal can eat. And I'm running my animals. Now we got it all mowed, got to unhook this thing and hook the hay tether up. Hopefully it's not as bad to unhook as it was hooking it up. See the reason we're doing this, that thing will fluff it up to where air can get underneath it because it's pretty dry on top, but now what's down underneath is not that dry. And this will flip it around and fluff it up to where what's green will end up on top and the sun will dry it out and air can get to it and go under it. As you can see, as you can see, we've got quite a bit to do, so let's get to it. Got it all fluffed up. It's fluffier than the pillows on your grandma's bed right now. So we're gonna leave it alone the rest of the night. Come back tomorrow. I'll see you in Zen.
Well, it's time to bail. Well, actually, I didn't get to bail it yesterday. I bailed a little bit of it. And it come a rain shower for about 10 minutes, just enough to ruin everything. So, I had to come back again today. So, this is as old school as it gets. This round bailer is a Massey 450. Otherwise known as a Vermeer 504C. It's the same bailer. Vermeer built them for Massey Ferguson, paint them red and put their decals on. It's absolutely basic, no frills. Manual tie. See? Pull the rope. And that's how you tie it. Of course, I'm using synthetic twine. And that's made for the old big Cecil twine, so it won't cut it. I actually have to get off and cut the twine every time I make a bell. So that's a little aggravating, but still. At least there's nothing electrical to mess up on the time. Now this is an old, what they call, closed throat baler. Most people don't like them. Actually, most people hate them. I generally don't have that much problem. It, they're harder to start a bell with, but after you get it started, it, it'll eat away at the hay. It, it doesn't matter. It's just getting it started. So let's go over here and you can watch me bail. You can watch me plug it up and have to clean it out or whatever happens, but we'll see what happens. Oh, did I mention it's hot? tractor I didn't want to catch the field on fire since I was straddling a windrow right there and I was smart enough to kick the tractor out of gear and let it roll down in between windrows where it wouldn't catch the hay on fire and then catch the field on fire in case you're wondering what I'm doing here um, and you can already see some of the smoke coming back off the tractor so after that what I've done is I jump off the tractor and take my knife out and cut the lower radiator hose in hopes that the water or the coolant would keep the flames down until I could get to the truck and get a fire extinguisher. And you can see the smoke come back there and there I go for a fire extinguisher. Run Forrest, run! And this is why you always carry a fire extinguisher with you. 
for some odd reason. I don't know why this thing caught on fire. With no hay or nothing built up up here. I got it put out with a fire extinguisher. But always carry a fire extinguisher with you. It's going to be a whole lot worse. Did you really think a fire was going to stop us? Nope. I don't give in that easy. So instead we're going to do it old school today. We're going to square bail. This is a new haul. <laughs> I can't even talk. New haul and Hayliner 68. My grandfather bought new in 1956. It originally had a two cylinder Wisconsin motor on it. Set right here that ran it. Then when he bought that 165 Massey new, they traded the motor for the power takeout shaft assembly on it. This thing is so old that the plunger in here that packs the hay runs on wood slides. I actually pulled the plunger out and made new slides for it and rebuilt the nodders. So it's a pretty good bailer actually. Even though it's older, it runs like a sewing machine. So let's kick it old school. You ready? Come on, let's go.
And we're done. Now let's get the bell run hooked and let's get the rest of this loaded up. Now right there you see some of the hay stacked up. And I walk over here and you can see why I do it. Right there. That makes it all worthwhile. Well, now you see what I go through. Just to make some extra money to buy car parts and feed some animals. Of course, the way things went, we ain't gonna make too much this time, but it is what it is. Take your good with the bad. So, I appreciate you watching. Be sure and like, subscribe. And always remember, me and the pups, we really do appreciate each and every one of you. Say bye, baby girl. Nah, she's sleeping. Stay tuned. I'll be back with another one. Scenes.